so today I'm going to be running you through my everyday makeup routine and this is my everyday makeup routine when I'm feeling a little bit fancy and I want to do a little bit sparkly and you know kind of like my wintry makeup routine and in winter I always wear a little bit more makeup because it's all Christmassy and festive and I just it makes me happy and I love glitterly 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 I love glittery eyelids I just think it makes you look like a fairy like a Christmas fairy and I love it so as you can see this is a very blue background I don't know if you guys like that or not tell me if you like it more yellow toned or more like blue toned let me know I'm just trying to switch things up a little bit and find out what you guys love the most so I am so excited to run you guys through my everyday makeup I've been asked so much to do an updated one of these because it has changed a little bit and I'm finally here doing it for you. I'm also gonna chat you through this as well, kind of like a chit chat, get ready with me thing, because I've got a few things to update you guys on and very exciting announcements. So first thing I'm using is this. It is the Olay Hydration and Radiant Glow Two-in-One Healthy Looking Glow Moisturizer. And it's also got SPF 15. Really, really recommend using an SPF. I think with this video, I'm gonna try and do it in real time, like, to actually show you how long it takes to do my makeup. Obviously add on about 10 minutes because I'm talking and faffing and stuff like that. But I always get so many questions like, oh my God, how long does it take for you to do your makeup? Like that must take so long. So I'm just gonna show you how long it actually takes me to do my makeup. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer video. So you might wanna go pause me, go make yourself coffee, get a snack, treat yourself. You know what I mean? So something I've been doing recently is using this tea tree oil before I put my primer on. It's from The Body Shop and it's been working wonders for my skin. Recently I ran out of my products from PMD and I didn't have them ready at hand to just pick up and use. So I was just using whatever I had in my cupboard. I had like a few simple things, a few clean and clear things. And my skin, if I don't use like pretty much one brand of like, say like Olay, I don't use all Olay products then my skin doesn't like that, it breaks out. So I ran to Superdrug as soon as I realized my skin was breaking out and I grabbed all of the Olay products I use and my skin is looking so much better. But before I put my primer on, I like to use this tea tree oil from the body shop just to like go over any scars or any um, blemishes that I think are gonna come out. I have one here that is like on its way off and after I take my makeup off today, it'll probably be gone. Um, I recently bought this. It is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser thing. I don't have big pores or anything, but I've seen loads of people saying it's great. And at the bottom it says, only for adults. <laughs> um, but I really like this. Um, I really do like this. My only issue with it is that it's a very small tube. You only get 22 mil in there for 10 pounds. And that isn't expensive for a primer, but I really loved my Estee Lauder one and I really loved my Nivea primer. And they both give you a more dewy look and this is definitely more matte. I think I'll definitely reach for it a lot more in the summertime, but for winter, I always go for like a dewier primer because the cold winds dry my makeup out anyway. So I don't let my primer sink in or anything like that. I don't know if you meant to. I'm not the best with makeup if I'm honest. But now I just go straight in with foundation. Marc Jacobs Remarkable. This stuff is like wall paint. It is so, so good. Um, I try to get the excess from around the lid because I don't like being wasteful. So try and get all of that off and around here as well. Just like that. And then I use the stick for the rest of my face um i know i'm gonna get comments in the comment section saying oh your foundation doesn't match you it's way too light no it's way too dark for you it's too yellow for you blah blah blah, blah. let's just address that right now i do have pink toned skin but the fake tan that i use has like olive undertones yellowy undertones and the foundation matches it and I wear fake tan in videos you can't see that it matches me because I've got two big lights on me if you head over to my Instagram you'll see pictures there that I've been taken in natural light and everything is the same color if you don't believe me my Instagram is Bethany Lee XO you can go look at it if you want to that bad but mm -hmm, it does match me I swear but when you've got lights illuminating just your face and nothing else you know that's how things work. 
I also do blend it down my neck. I think that's so important, even if your foundation is the exact same shade for you. Foundation is a different texture to skin. Like, no matter how natural the foundation is, it will always be a different texture to your skin. So, yes, yeah, just remember that. I also apply it to my eyelids as well, because obviously you don't want different coloured eyelids, because I don't use fake tan on my face. Because it ends up looking a little bit muddy a lot of the time. So, I do like to use um, it on my eyelids to just make sure that everything on my face is the exact same colour. What I love about this foundation is the fact that I feel like I don't need to use concealer. If I ever have a breakout, I don't feel the need to use concealer because this covers absolutely anything and everything. If you have scars on your face that you're not happy with or you have hyperpigmentation that you're not happy with, if you've got rosy cheeks like I do that you don't really like, this will cover up absolutely anything. It would probably cover up tattoos. And the thing about this, it actually looks very, very natural. Like, if you look at my Instagram pictures, like, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look... Like, look at me now, that doesn't look cakey or unnatural or... Well, obviously, nobody's skin is that flawless, but... Now I'm going in with the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer. Super inexpensive. I recently repurchased this because of Sophie Foster. You guys probably know who she is. She seems absolutely lovely. Spoken to her a few times. She's an absolute doll. And I love her makeup tutorial. She's super talented. And I don't know. I just love her. I think she's such a great person. So I recently repurchased this because she'd spoken about it a lot. And then I'm gonna put this on my cupid's bow. I use a beauty blender to blend everything out. This one is actually from, oh, where's it from? It's like B Dot. That's the name of it. That's all it said on the box. And it is exactly the same as the original beauty blender. It's a lot more inexpensive. Um, my dog recently chewed up my original beauty blender. My camera stopped recording, but I was just saying that my beauty blender is from B Cosmetics because my dogs ate my original one and I actually really prefer this. It's latex free as well, which is really good. So now I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush, I'm gonna clean it off, make sure there's nothing on there, and I'm gonna dip into this palette. It's from Freedom, it's the Pro Strobe palette. And I'm gonna mix the two shades here, the two highlighting shades, and I'm gonna pop that underneath my eyes to really brighten up the area and just clean everything up. And I'm also gonna set my concealer on my nose and my forehead with this, and also on my chin and cupid's bow. Big fan of this palette, I absolutely love it. It came with this brush, which is fantastic. It's the Freedom, oh, it doesn't say, it's probably just like the contour brush. And I like to use the medium shade, it's got light, dark, and medium is the biggest one because I guess more people can use it, I don't know. It's like an in-between for light skin and more dark, dark shade of skin. I don't think this would be the palette for you if you have like, um, like an Asian skin tone or like a darker skin tone basically. I used to think so much about like how difficult it is to find products for really light skin tones and really dark skin tones because they pretty much do not exist. Like, I was talking to a friend of mine, like, I think it was two years ago. I was in year 10 of high school, so it was like two years ago now. And she had dark skin and we were talking, she was like, there's literally no makeup for people my race. And I was like, there's no makeup available, you believe it? And she was like, we should make a brand for really light skin and really dark skin. I was like, girl, we should. Because there's like hardly anything. If you've got pale skin or you've got dark skin, makeup companies don't cater to it. And I don't know why, because we exist. We're here, hello. Doesn't make any sense. But now I'm gonna use this brush. It's from Real Techniques. And it's the sculpting brush. And I'm gonna blend out my contour a little bit because I like sharp contour, but not like super, super sharp. And this is a little bit thicker and I like thicker contour at the top and then it's like thin out a little bit. And I'm going to pop that along my jawline as well and drag it down like this. Okay, now I'm going to go in with highlighter. I never normally do highlighter now, but oh well. 
So I'm going to clean off this brush that I used for my under eyes and I'm going to mix every single colour in the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Gleam and tap a little bit off and highlight. This is such a good brush for highlighting because it just like you can swipe exactly where you want it perfectly. Can you see that highlight? I don't think it's showing up right now. You can definitely see it this side a little bit more. Popping some on my nose and up here. Now onto the eyes. I know so many of you guys love my eye makeup recently. I love it too. So I'm gonna look for a flat brush because that's where you need, oh, here's one. No idea where this is from. Think it might be Superdrug actually. I have a feeling it's from Superdrug. Let's go with that. And I'm using the Sleek Makeup Palette and I'm using, hmm, this is in the shade Solstice, Solace. Solstice, I don't know. I either use the orange shade or the purple shade. I think today I'm gonna go with purple in the inner corner and then orange on the lid. This is how I get that shiny, shimmery eyeshadow that you guys seem to love. On my Instagram, whenever I post a picture where you can see my eyelids, you guys are like, yes, mom, love. But yeah. I recently made a new Twitter. If you're not following it, you should because I update you guys so much on there. And also, I'm going to New York soon. And if you want to know where I am because you want to come see me or anything like that, then Twitter is the place to go because I'll be tweeting where I am constantly. Just curling that lash up a little bit. So, yeah, if you want to like keep up to date with me, if you ever want to meet me, honestly, I tweet where I am all the time for you guys. So, keep an eye on my Twitter because I swear. Like, if you're in the area, you'll find me. So I've just popped that on my eyelids. It is super shimmery. My camera isn't picking it up for some reason. Maybe it is, there's a box around my head because it's focusing on me, but yeah, it looks good. Now I'm going in with a slanted brush from Real Techniques. It's just called Angled Shadow Brush. I'm going in with a contour shade. This is a Revolution Ultra, Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. I'm just using the contour shade. And I'm going to use that in the crease. This is a very golden look. And I know that a lot of Christmas looks are like silvery. But I feel like gold just suits me so much better. I can hear my neighbours talking right now. So I can almost guarantee they can hear me talking. Fantastic. Okay, so... That looks a little bit messed up, so I'm going to use my Royal and Lang Nicole um, eyeshadow brush to blend that out. It's a little bit of a smoky look, not really, but a little bit. I'm going to turn towards the light so I can really see what I'm doing, because um, the light is highlighting like one side of my face way more than the other. Um, yeah, so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this super tiny brush, it's from Nanchi, and it's a crease brush, I'm going to take the dark shade from here, and I'm going to take that in the outer corner first, and slowly just build that in, to add a little bit of depth, and I'm going to do the same on the other eye. So that is that done, and now I'm going to do brows. So I've lost my spoolie thing, so I'm going to use an old mascara one, because classy. And I'm just going to brush my eyebrows into somewhat of a shape and then I'm going to fill them in a little bit. Okay, so for my eyebrows I use the Freedom Pomade and a brush from Nanshi and it is the Angled Detailer brush. Um, I was recently sent it in like a blogger program thing and it's actually really good. I really like their brushes. Just on my eyebrows, my face looks a little bit more sculpted now. I look super pale because of the setting this camera is on. This eyebrow is always such a fail compared to this eyebrow. This eyebrow is like the best child you could ask for. And this one is like deranged. But now I'm gonna go in with mascara, super weird order I know. And just my lower lash line because I have eyelash extensions. If you're wondering how I do my eyelash extensions, because I do them on my own at home, then I will let you guys know in 
I'm gonna leave the link in the description to the video where I show you guys how to do eyelash extensions. So now I'm gonna do liner. I use the Body Shop Thin Felt Eyeliner to do it. And it's great, but I can't talk while I do it, so see you in a sec. So I like to do pretty thick full eyeliner as you can probably see. I just really prefer it. I think it's really good. And it's not exactly Christmassy, but it's cute. Washed it away on the kitchen sink. Dark days over, the dark days are done. My makeup looks pretty much done. Should we use some lipstick? I think we're gonna go with some lipstick. Honestly, I have no idea what I've done with my lip liner. Let me just have a little look in my bag. So, I have a nude lip liner. I don't have like a red one or anything like that, but it'll do. Uh, this one's from Sleek. I'm just gonna overlay my lips a little bit. The lipstick I'm gonna be using, I'm using this quite a bit recently. I actually quite like it. It's in the shade. Goa Mangola. Okay. But yeah, it's from the body shop. They sent me like this whole bag of lipsticks, which is really sweet of them. And I'm just gonna pop this on. <laughs> it takes me longer to do lipstick than it does to do eyeliner. I am so sorry if you can hear my dogs. They're playing tag right now their new favorite game and they get a little bit competitive so this is my makeup i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up i recreated the post that i put on instagram and everyone was like ah oh, tutorial tutorial because i've been trying out new lipsticks lately and i've been loving this glittery eyelid thing going on so i thought i'd do a video showing you my new everyday makeup pretty much i mean sometimes i go weeks out wearing makeup but the days I do. I think this is a really cute festive look and I hope you guys love it as much as I do. I'm so sorry that my hair looks like this. I'm going to the gym tonight so I didn't want to wash it so I've just thrown it up in like this super messy ponytail. But yeah, I love this look. I hope you guys do too. And yeah. I love you guys so so much. I also wanted to mention three things before I go. One, new Twitter. It's Bethany Lee XO. Go follow it because I update you guys on it all the time. And while you're at it, why not follow my other social medias like Snapchat, Instagram. It's all Bethany Lee XO. Two, I'm coming out with my own perfume very, very soon. It's currently in the works. We're trying to like sort the pricing. I'm trying to make it as low as I possibly can for you guys. So we're trying to discuss that and see how we can get the lowest possible price, like best value for money. And also, I'm doing 25 days of Bethany Lee, and that just means that in December, I'm going to be uploading every single day from the 1st to the 25th, every single day, non-stop, and I'm really excited about it. I'm also going to be daily vlogging, and I'm going to New York on the 1st of December, and I get back on the 9th of December, so that's going to be so, so exciting for you guys. And me, obviously. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for the constant support. It means so much to me. You guys don't even know. I love you all so much. And I will see you on Saturday with a new video. Bye.